Welcome to Learn Medical Spanish. Today I'll be going over another anatomy section, and this one's about the chest or thorax area. And this does overlap a little with some of the other anatomy lessons I've done, but there will be some new phrases as well. And in my CME course that I've mentioned a few times, uh, I go through I go over the anatomy for various regions of the body. So if you're interested in learning more about that CME course, you can find the link in your podcast episode description or the video description on YouTube. In the, uh, as usual, I'll be going over the phrases in English first, and then I'll pause. I'll let you think about the translation, and then I'll say them a couple times in Spanish. So every time I say it in Spanish, you should have time to, to repeat it after me, hopefully, unless I mess up the timing or whatever. <laughs> But here we go. Here's the first word or phrase. Chest. El pecho. El pecho. Breasts. And I bring this up because, of course, it's similar to the word for chest, and there's some overlap and potential confusion. So how do you say breasts? Los pechos. Los pechos. So the word for chest, pecho, the word for breasts, pechos, plural. So if it's singular versus plural, that makes a difference. And the context also makes a difference. Uh, people can usually tell if you're kind of talking about the chest in general, then maybe use it like a gesture or something so that they can kind of figure that out. Um, or they can kind of tell if you're referring to the breast, depending on the context. And then another way to say breasts is el seno. El seno. And then that kind of means um, like the bosom, but people sometimes make it plural as well and say los senos. Los senos. So there you have it. A couple ways to say breasts, and then, you know, depending on the context, that can mean chest or breast, um, the word pecho. All right, so how do you say stomach? El estómago. El estómago. Side or flank area. El costado. El costado. Back. La espalda. La espalda. Shoulder. El Hombro. El hombro. Arm. El brazo. El brazo. And I didn't bring this up earlier, but I've said it in earlier episodes um, that the reason I'm using the article, the word the, before each word is because it's good practice for you to learn the gender and also um, because it's more common in Spanish to include that word when you're talking about body parts. So it's just good to get familiar with that. All right, next, neck. El cuello. El cuello. Jaw. La mandíbula. La mandíbula. And of course, that sounds like mandible. And the reason I included it here is just because if you're talking about chest pain, it might radiate to the jaw or whatever, but even though that's not technically in the chest region, but might be useful. Anyway, the next one is 
esophagus. El esófago. El esófago. Heart. El corazón. El corazón. Lungs. Los pulmones. Los pulmones. For bonus points, how do you say lung singular? El pulmón. El pulmón. Trachea. And hint, this is a cognate. You just have to figure out how to pronounce it. Cognates mean something that sounds similar in both languages. So it'll sound similar. You just got to pronounce it the Spanish way. La tráquea. La tráquea. Airways. And I think there are, there are multiple ways to say this. So I'll just give you one option. But if you know a different way, that's great. So airways. Las vías respiratorias. Las vías respiratorias. Another one I've seen written is caminos del aire, as in pa air paths. And this is kind of like the respiratory paths. So maybe some different ways to translate that. And there are probably other ones too. Blood. La sangre. La sangre. Artery. La arteria. La arteria. Vein. La vena. La vena. And for bonus points, how do you make that plural? Las venas. Las venas. Ribs. Las costillas. Las costillas. Sternum. This is also kind of a cognate. El esternón. El esternón. Skin. La piel. La piel. All right, I hope that was helpful. And if you want to see some ER-related dialogues, I've got a playlist for, the, for you there on YouTube, as well as a link to the video about my CME course. And if you're on the podcast, you, you can just scroll down and see a bunch more episodes and see what you want to listen to. And I uh, hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on Learn Medical Spanish. <laughs>